Want to become a software superhero, a threat hunter, digital forensics analyst, ethical hacker or security engineer and guard computers, phones and sensitive information of millions of people? Wonder if regular computer science engineering or CSE with specialization in cyber security is a better way to get you there to your dream job. And this time we will break down the curriculum of regular CSE versus CSE cyber security from one of the top colleges in India and compare how they match up to global standards and if they can land you your dream job. To make a fair analysis, this time we pick up the curriculum of one of the oldest tier 1 engineering colleges in India, CEG, College of Engineering, Gindi. In CSC, between year 1 to year 4, you have 58 subjects, excluding 3 NCC level subjects. In this, you have physics, where you have to define torque and derive Einstein's relations for a 2 energy level system. And you have chemistry, where you need to learn and define the causes for sludges and scales in the boilers. Physics Chemistry Theory, Physics Chemistry Lab and some other subjects like these fall under the category IR which means irrelevant to the professional core of your speciality which is Computer Science Engineering. And Computer Science Engineering related subjects? Yes, yes, you have object oriented programming, database management systems, data structures and algorithms but these are mostly covered between year 2 and year 4 of your program and in total these comprise to less than 50% of the total 58 subjects. In the CSC Cyber Security Specialization, you have in total 58 subjects as well. But if you think you can avoid all this physics, chemistry and irrelevant subjects if you pick this specialization, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You still need to learn about Einstein's equations, boiler sludge and work with depression of wooden beams in the physics laboratory. We have already done a deep dive analysis of the curriculum of top IITs and NITs where we have covered at length the subjects of the BTEC CSE program and their syllabus etc. The curriculum here is very similar so you can check that out here or at the links in the description. In this video, we will focus on the relevance to a career in cyber security. A career in cyber security goes way beyond just technical skills. It intersects with sociology, criminology, law, civics and politics. Understanding human behavior and social system is essential in addressing real world threats. Cyber security is about protecting people, not just data. Therefore, a foundation in humanities is crucial. This broader knowledge helps navigate the complexities of cyber security and helps professionals being more effective in their roles. And it is great to note that we have humanities as a part of the CEG curriculum. You have subjects on human values and ethics which is great but it is also a little dated. The humanities account for around 4% of subjects. Here you will learn about equality, liberty, French revolution, American independence, Indian freedom movement, social discrimination, constitutional protection and policies, etc. And you have political and economic thought for a humane society where you will learn about capitalism, monopolies, fascism, World War 1 and 2, Cold War, communism, etc. But you will not learn much about the complexities that are relevant to today's digital world. And this one special for one who chooses CEG. You have the heritage of Tamils as the subject here. You need to learn about contributions of poets and describe about musical instruments. And if you love PS, great. You also need to learn about and write about the victories of Cholas. So these are good to know. Even though these subjects fall under humanities, considering their relevance to your specialization, which is cyber security, we could categorize them under IR as well. So, the CSC Cyber Security Specialization has 15 totally irrelevant subjects which make up around 25%, the time frame of one whole year of engineering. Since cyber security is a specialty under the Computer Science Engineering core, 23 out of these 58 subjects are related to the core CSC. And it covers a variety of subjects such as programming in C, discrete mathematics, foundations of data science, data structures, theory of computation, etc. This is around 39% of the total cyber security curriculum. And you also have soft skills and professional development subjects like professional English 1 and 2, human resource management, etc. And these cover around 10% of the curriculum. So, if we stack these up, we have 39% core CSE, 10% of professional skills, 4% humanities and 25% IR. A total overlap of around 80% between regular CSC and CSC with specialization in cyber security. Which means the specialization accounts for only 20% of the entire syllabus. This covers 12 subjects including electives where students can learn about network security, cyber forensics, engineering secure software systems, ethical hacking, cryptocurrency and blockchain technologies etc. Since cyber security has global implications and the threats are often non-local, we consulted with experts to benchmark this program against 
some of the best in the world. They recommended comparing it with top institutions like Purdue University, which ranks amongst the top 10 in cybersecurity globally. Let us see what that curriculum looks like. University of Purdue has 36 subjects in total. The basic core CSC subjects and fundamentals like introduction to software development concepts, information technology architectures, object-oriented programming, etc. cover around 8% of the curriculum. And 22% of the curriculum offers the essential professional skills to the students. In that, they have design thinking and technology where students engage in critical analysis of the real-world problems and global challenges. And in the fundamentals of speech communication, students focus on practice practical approach for improving communication skills. Today, the tech industry is globally connected and employees need to know how to communicate effectively. To tackle this challenge, the curriculum of Purdue also brings in the essential soft skills to the students and they go really deep there. Students learn how to communicate in different groups, organizations, and especially in the computer-mediated settings. And moving on to humanities, this accounts for around 15% of the total curriculum and offers a deep dive on crucial subjects such as cyber law and ethics. Here, students learn essential concepts to ensure their work in the future aligns with the society's laws, regulations, and values. They also have a course on basic cyber forensics, where students learn the fundamentals of cyber forensics and cyber crime scene analysis. This subject closely relates with one of the subjects in the CEG curriculum too. And then Purdue has cyber criminology where you learn about the forms of cyber crimes including hacking, insider threat, internet pornography, cyber bullying, activism, etc. Here you also learn about various sociological, psychological and criminological theories that explain why do some people engage in cyber crimes when others do not. One of the goals of learning these subjects is to shape students into responsible citizens while also being cyber security experts. And even they have some irrelevant subjects like Applied Calculus 1 and 2, which account for around 5% of the total curriculum. And most importantly, they have more subjects dedicated to cyber security, where they have subjects such as Fundamentals of Cyber Security, Introduction to Cryptography, Vulnerability and Analysis, etc. Out of 36 subjects, 18 are dedicated to cyber security, which account for around 50% of the curriculum. Now, now that we have a benchmark, we can see where the CEG curriculum of cybersecurity falls short. The engineering program in India falls short of the essential technical skills related to software development. It falls short in the professional skills required in today's global workplace. It does not expose students enough to the real world where learning meets application. And finally, it does not do enough to transform students into responsible citizens. This is very critical for those who intend to be protectors of the cyber world. Considering the gap, both CSC and CSC cybersecurity graduates from these institutes fall equally short of the vital skills needed by the global industry. It becomes difficult to hire them unless they significantly upskill themselves beyond the college curriculum or learn these skills through work experience. Work experience? Before placements? Yes, we asked the industry experts and all of them expect students to have work experience through internships. But around 95% of the internships last for just a month or two, confined to summer breaks or the final semester. The curriculum doesn't allow for longer and continuous internships, therefore most students fail to get this crucial work experience. The industry believes that an internship experience of at least one to two years is essential. This allows students enough exposure to life as a security engineer, cyber analyst or security software engineer where they can learn to tackle the real-world cyber attacks. And for those who prefer regular CSC, long internships allow students enough exposure to life as a software engineer and understand the software development life cycle, which is very crucial in the field of software engineering. Long internships also allow students to acquire foundational skills such as critical thinking and problem solving, which is essential to both CSC and CSC with cybersecurity. There are a lot of top universities offering exactly this futuristic learning approach that offer long internships up to three years and hands-on learning that provides 80% practicals and only 20% theory. We at Calvium are powering more than a dozen of these. To know what that college experience looks like, check out this video.